Baseball player in the game today. Uh, this year, this man broke two major league records. He hit home runs in eight consecutive games, and he hit six Grand Slam home runs in a single season. Folks, please welcome from the New York Yankees, first baseman Don Mattingly. Don! Good to see you. Nice to have you here. Don Mattingly. <clears throat> Eight consecutive games you hit a home run. Yeah. Now, what do you think about when you're in the middle of that uh, stretch? Uh, well, in the middle of it, I was at the All-Star game. Uh -huh. uh, had had uh, five straight and had three days off in, in Oakland. So that, in some regard, is that a more, an advantage or a disadvantage if you're trying to sustain that kind of stretch? Uh, I would think it'd be a disadvantage yeah. because after a while you... Timing gets you know, off? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Now, did you, did you care that, the, that you didn't get to, to break the record? I mean, are you satisfied with tying the major league record? Sure. Oh, yeah. Eight, eight consecutive games was, was a lot of fun, and, uh, and I had a chance to break it, yeah. so uh, I, did, I did get the opportunity. So. It seems impossible, though. To hit a home run like two time, two games in a row maybe but you get up around five or six that's that's pretty rarefied area isn't it kind of i guess but i during that stretch i i told a couple of the guys i said i'm gonna hit one a day and i was just kidding but it was it was happening and, and uh, so you said i'm gonna hit one a day and yeah. you did hit well, one a well, day it was kind of a situation where my swing was feeling good yeah. i felt good at the plate yeah. and it's the time where i flick them hit the ball hard uh -huh. and i would say uh, hey i feel like i'm gonna hit one today yeah and every day i'm hit one every day i said and then after eight, did you say, I'm not going to hit one today? <laughs> See, maybe, maybe that was the problem. No, I was telling I said we had, uh, I think we had 80 games left, so I'm hit 96 this year. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other one, the six uh, Grand Slam home runs, H had you hit Grand Slam home runs with any regularity before this year? I had never hit a Grand Slam in, a, in the major leagues of my life. Isn't that interesting? And then this year, all of a sudden, you go crazy. Yeah, and I hit one in spring training this year, uh -huh. and then it was kind of a... Uh, I guess that was uh, what it's, the way it was supposed to be this yeah. year. Uh, now, when you come to the to the plate and the bases are loaded, is it impossible not to think about hitting a home run? Uh, the situation of the game kind of dictates. Yeah. You know, you, you would like to because it's always a dream. You know, you see people do it and it's a fantasy for you. Yeah. But uh, uh, there's situations where you only need one run to win a game or sure. go ahead. So you just want to basically to sacrifice fly sometimes yeah. at least make contact so you don't want to get greedy and try to take it all or my yeah. theory just take one in the ribs <laughs> get scoot up on the play a little bit yeah that's right your oh. but don yeah. baylor don theory. baylor me and don <laughs> baylor and ron hunt yeah we worked on that together um now you did something you went to arbitration now you and i are, are from the same state indiana a great place it's yes. the the yes. the solid center of this great country and and if it were me having to go and have somebody else decide what I was worth, I would be very, very nervous. Because you rejected the management's offer, you wanted your own offer, and you said, okay, let's let somebody else decide. That takes a lot of courage. Were you really nervous when you did that? Well, I, I was scared a little bit, and uh, it's a scary process for you to go in and, and let somebody else decide. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, there's times, I guess, when you feel like that, you feel like you're worth more as a player, and, and the management doesn't think so at that time. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the only process that lets a neutral party, to me, take over. And it was a fair process. I learned a lot from from the whole process. I, I would think so. And what would you, if they had said, no, no, uh, Don, what what they offer you is about right. What would be the lowest it would have gone then? I think it was a. Uh, I'm not for sure what their offer was. I think it was a million eight fifty. Uh -huh. So it wasn't like you're. If you lose, you still win. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't really too far out on that limb then, were you, Don? <laughs> That's what I mean. I mean, <laughs> uh, you're close. But see what happens, though. Management doesn't actually offer you that, that million eight fifty. Mm -hmm. They're talking something lower. Mm -hmm. And then once they have to file a number, then they have to get serious because yeah. they know if they're too low, then you win automatically. You'll win. And so then you don't always talk about that million eight fifty number. Maybe if they would have talked about that number from the beginning, you may, not, you may have never went. Yeah. But you're making something like 50 grand every time you put your uniform on, aren't you? Something like that, some unbelievable figure? <laughs> I don't know exactly, but uh, uh, I know it's a good sum. Yeah, well, you deserve it. I mean, you're the best player in ball today. Now, what about well, George? No, Let's no. talk about George. What is oh, no. Yeah, I guess, uh, uh, what a guy. As a, as a professional ball player, is it possible for you to disregard everything that's going on? At one point in the season, he, and forgive me if I don't have this correctly, but I think he said something about your pursuit of home runs might be selfish and could hurt the team. That bothers you as a, as a professional player. There's things that, that uh, George would say that you have to basically be able to deal with because it, it happens regularly and from year to year. But there's also things that happen that, you, that hurt you personally. And that was something that I've, I felt was a, a personal attack at me. Yeah. And, and well, that, that seems silly. And, and George has been here, and he seems like a very nice guy and probably a really good 
after dinner speaker. <laughs> but, uh, but that seems silly for him to be advising a player maybe not to try and hit a home run. Well, I wasn't trying to hit him, and that's the big thing. And um, I just go up there and try to hit the ball hard. And, I, and really, this year, there's maybe one or two times that I tried to hit a home run this year that yeah. I did. And when I try to hit him, I don't. So you, you, you basically learn not to try. <laughs> could, you, could you be, if this is possible, could you be a better player if you played for a different uh, management situation? I don't think so. I, I love it. I love it here. And um, Do you like the heat? Do you like it when George yeah. is down on you a little bit so you can go out there? Well, and... not just George, but it's, you know, the fans. They're intelligent. The, the media is microscopic. And uh, all three of them are intelligent. Three, three intelligent ones up there. <laughs> but, you know, there's a, it's such a close thing. And... And for me, I like to forget about what, I, what I've did in the past. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, you're proud of what you did in the past, yeah. but you need to go on. And uh, it's good because they don't let you look back. Yeah. They, they, want, they, want to, they show what you did this year, not what you did in the past. What's the deal on Ricky Henderson? Uh, did he, his hamstring, is that really what kept him out the whole time? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. But uh, he had some problems. He, he really did have some problems. And, uh, and really nobody well, what knows the hell that. is a hamstring, for God's uh, sakes? What? It's a big old monster muscle on, uh, on Ricky Henderson. So that could disable him for, he was out for quite a long time, wasn't he? I think he missed uh, 62 games yeah. during that streak, and he had it a, different, a couple of different times this year. Yeah. But, uh, so what are you going to do now? What's, what's the uh, Roger McDowell hunting and fishing? How about you? Uh, taking care of the kids, I guess. Got a I, brand new baby. A five-week-old uh, five and a... Boy or girl? A boy, yeah. Preston Michael, and uh, Taylor Patrick's about two and a half. Yeah. He's in the back back yeah. here going crazy. Great and kid, I understand. Screaming and yeah. throwing coke all over your screen back there. He what? Hey, hold it. <laughs> Keep some manners with that little run. Uh, <laughs> Now, now uh, you own a you own and see this to me is like an ideal situation. You own a bar back in Evansville, Indiana. A restaurant bar. Uh, a restaurant bar. Nice place. Yeah, with an original name. Yeah, Mattingly's. Uh huh. No, sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and I don't think there's another place in the country named that. I probably, I probably will, so I'll get some letters. Is it, is it fun to go back there? Have you ever gone back there? You know what? We just opened it this year. We've been working mm -hmm. on it three or four years, and uh, we opened it during the season, and I haven't had a chance to get back yet. I'm going to yeah. go back uh, in the next couple of days here, and... Uh, Hope everybody's watching at home now. And I, I would guess that when you go back to Evansville, uh, the place just feels kind of a buzz. I mean, they must be very, very proud of you being from that part of the well, country. Well, I hope so. I, yeah. I, feel, uh, I feel good going home, and it's, it's nice to, to slow the pace down and, and get home and, and see family. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, but, that's you know, I, I can't uh, thank you enough for being here, because for me, this is a real thrill, because uh, whether you want to discuss this or not, you're a legend already, no. and uh, we're looking at a Hall of Famer here, folks. Don Mattingly. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll be back here with David Sanborn. Thank you.